Hey there, this is Dave with the Living Lightly channel. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I wanted to go over a campsite I'm building. This is in my backyard. Uh, I'm getting it set up in preparation, make sure it all works and functions together and I've got everything I need before I use it and forget something at home. So I might just go camping in my backyard for a few days. Okay, but what's who gets to use it first is Tim. I'm sending Tim to a vegan permaculture farm certification course. And so he'll be out there for two weeks and they say it's uh, primitive, rustic, slash rugged. So, you know, being out rugged for two weeks um, while you're taking a course and getting a certification, um, yeah, I thought, Man, we need to make it a little bit more comfortable. And it's for me and Sarah in the future. So, okay, so this is, we've gone now into glamping. That's glamour camping. All right, so, all right, check it out. We've got the hammock. That's been around for a long time. Got it for Tim years ago. Just pulled that out of storage. And, oh, I want to back up. Oh yeah, works great. <laughs> okay. All right, back to the tour. Uh, for outdoor cooking, we have this rocket stove. Works amazing. The only downside to this is when you're cooking and you have a pan, you're gonna get it uh, carbonized. It's gonna turn black. Like propane burns clean. Um, twigs and and roots and I mean twigs and grass and stuff and sticks yeah they'll burn very dirty and make it, all of your utensils black but you know you just have a few twigs you don't have to use propane and you get a couple of uh, pots and pans that are designated you know for the rocket stove and you are good to go. So we got that, it's very heavy duty. Like you can stand on it or put a very big, you know, bean pot on it or something and it'll hold up. Okay, a couple of chairs, kick back. Solar, 100 watt solar panel. And yeah, I know I need to seal up those wires. Um, this is actually a tank of water. So I put it in this black bin and put it in the sun. So now it is warm water. So that's a hot water tank. All right, inside. Uh, we have our solar generator, so it's a battery going in there it's gel sealed I mean I don't want it to heat up it's like it'll be normally propped propped open but you don't have to worry about gassing uh, outside just went through the cooler into the charge controller back onto the battery from the battery to these ports so I have three DC ports and a couple of phone phone jacks or USB jacks and to charge your phone. Uh, one is an inverter. So 140 watt, that'll take care of like a laptop. Um, another one is fan. Yep. So it gets a little warm. Chill on the couch. Feel the breeze. Uh, more electronics. So this will be kind of electronic bin. Um, pump. So the in, the pump for this couch or an air mattress. 
has a DC port, so DC plug. So we plug that in. It's good to go. Puts a little drain on the battery, but not much at all, really. Not a problem to pump up an air mattress. Okay. So this got this from from Walmart. It's comfortable. It's really comfortable. No, no regrets on this purchase. Except when it deflates and pops, then I'll regret it. Um, so I took a card table, cut out the middle. And the reason I put a big hole in there is because this bell tent, oh, we'll get into that too. It's a bell tent, by the way. Um, so, I mean, if you get high winds, you know, it can rock a little bit and it won't knock the table around might sway just slightly uh, got your tunes and the solar light these are great at night this is perfect night light yeah this goes and it works like a necklace so I have it like a neck you just wear it when you're if you have to go for a walk somewhere at night light your path and people see you coming great um a nice twin size cot very comfortable sturdy because i don't know yeah this is good Um, outdoor carpeting just to keep keep the floors clean keep them from minimizing any damage you know like pole pressing into if you're camp for a long time or you know something jamming somewhere and ripping the floor so I have some carpets some small pieces of carpet put like a hygiene kit under there all right, the kitchen. Kitchen will be this. All right, I haven't filled this with water, but you can see the idea. I cut out a hole in this table, put in a bucket, so you can wash your hands. I mean, hygiene is important when you're, especially when you're camping a long time. It's like when you're roughing it, you know, to get sick or, you know, to feel gross when you're, roughing it is makes things just worse so yeah so that'll be the valve and in there and then just pull this out yeah and dump out the gray water wash dishes maybe uh, even though i have oh look an air conditioner <laughs> so when it gets hot I won't spray it, but it's one of those bottles that spray water. Yep. Um, this is in case you need just need to, I don't know, it's a backup. Hopefully this gets tucked away and won't get used. And it won't get used here because, yeah, put a hole in the tent right there. So that'll have to go... If you need to heat up water, say it's like downpouring, raining outside, and you want a cup of coffee, well, then we do that. All right, this is the best. This is the best. All right. That's the shower. That's the hot water. And this, see, this is like what you bring all your stuff in. So you got all your clothes and all your supplies in here. You know, throw it in the back of the pickup truck. And... Ooh. Okay. You know, making a little bit of a mess here. But... Okay. So we're going to take this part. 
Yep, see where we're going. It's a shower stall, right? In case you need to take a shower indoor. I mean, shoot, take a shower outdoors, but maybe it's crowded space and you can't do that. Um, this can be kind of tucked away over there or something where all your, all your clothes go. Yeah. That's where all your junk goes. It's like trash can. Towel rack. All right. So this is great. Let's move this right here. And we, you know, close the door if we need to. I'm going to bring, actually, I'm going to bring in this water tank. There we go. We're going to take, yep, the shower. Plug it in. Well, this is kind of a tangled mess, and I have one hand, so. Okay, we're back. It's, I'm all untangled. Uh, so we have the pump. Yep. In there, and I'm going to put this in here. Here's the switch. Bam, look at that. Look at that. Great shower, nice warm shower. So, then we're standing in here. And you can take a shower. Got it kinda I don't I don't have any place to hook the thing. Maybe I can figure out a way to put it up there. But this is the concept. All right. So then when we're Done with the shower. Maybe put the pump in there. And then we're gonna take this bin. Pull it outside. Dump it out. Yeah, wipe it out, find a place for it, and we're good to go. So this is the camp, uh, or sh I should say glamp, and it's all in a 16-foot bell tent. Uh, the bell tent, uh, they're sold either in cotton or in this other material that I like better. Um, it, it resists molding, but this has been up for, I don't know, maybe a couple of months. I wanted to test it out. And in the shady areas, it started mildewing. So I need to clean that up and put some more protect, put some protectant on it, but if it were a cotton tent, it would probably have been destroyed by now. So, because with all the rain we've had the past couple months, it's just been nonstop. So it's held up very well. It held up it to about 30 mile an hour winds and has no problems, no issues. So five stars on this tent, 16 foot bell tent. Uh, I paid about, I think it was about $600 for it. And the finishing touches are a little solar panel. So you get this ni nice light. Also, the best, the coolest part, see at night, okay, you can plug this into the inverter. And this, I, think, I don't know, you can barely see it. I put this wire with these little tiny lights that go all the way around. So at night, 
you get this 360 degree glow around the tent. And it, it looks fantastic. It's also controlled by this remote. So you can put it at like a 10% or full power or blinking, no reason to use blinking, but you can dim them down with the remote control or shut it off. So you can be in bed and shut it off or so between that light that goes all 360 degrees around the tent and this solar lamp, that's all the light you need at night. It, it can get pretty bright. You know, and it's and it's like a soft, comfortable light. So this is about as cool as it gets. I'm pretty excited to use it, but Tim gets to use it first. And on his two week adventure, vegan permaculture course. So, all right. So thanks for checking out the campsite and the tent. My name is Dave. Uh, Path to Living Lightly is the Facebook page and living lightly is youtube so you know like subscribe and all that kind of stuff and until next time keep living lightly